All right, I've got a quick and easy one for you today, proportionality and equations. The constant of proportionality, something that sounds kind of complicated, but is actually really simple. So we have two different types of variables when we have functions or graphs. We have the independent variable, which is always the one that's on the x-axis. And we've got dependent, which is always the one that's graphed on the y-axis. So to find the constant of proportionality, we do the dependent divided by the independent. Another way to look at that is y over x. Once we get that y over x and we find that constant of proportionality, all we have to do to write the equation is put it right here. So let's try a few. Find the constant of proportionality. All right, so we know that from the previous slide, to find that constant, I have to do y divided by x. Now, the good news is you can pick any y or x pair that you like. So I'm going to go with the smallest one, right? So if I choose this y and x pair, then I'll have 6 over 2, that's 3, that is my constant of proportionality. It really is that simple. Let's try another one. Every student has 6 folders. What's the constant of proportionality for the ratio of folders to students? All right, well, According to our information here, there are six folders for every one student. So the ratio of folders to students would be six to one, making my constant of proportionality six. Let's keep going. How about a graph? The graph shows the speed of a sloth. What is the constant of proportionality? You can pick any point on this line where you can clearly see what the values are. Like here we've got 0 0.5 and 3. Then there's another point here, and that point is 1, 6. And then there's another point here, that point is 1.5. Nine, and if you don't see where I'm getting these numbers from, let's look at this point for example. I'm following it straight down to the x-axis, and that's 1.5 because it's right between 1 and 2. And then I'm following it straight over to the y-axis, and that's 9. So that's where I get the point 1.59. So because, I mean, why not avoid decimals, right? To make it simple, I'm going to use this point. So I know that the constant of proportion, proportionality is y over x. So that's going to be 6 over 1. So it's 6. All right, one more. See, I told you this would be easy. All right, the graph shows the amount of flour needed to make cookies. Write an equation. All right, this time we need to actually write an equation. So if you remember way back from... The first slide, I showed you that to write the equation, all we have to do is put k right there. So that means we have to find k. But that's easy. We've been doing that, right? So let's look at some points. It looks like this graph is counting by threes. Um, I'm not sure what it's counting by on the y-axis, so I'm just going to use this point, 6, 96, right? So my constant of proportionality is going to be y over x. So that'll be 96 over 6. That's 96 divided by 6, right? So that's, what, 60 and 36. So that would be 16. So now that I know that k is 16, I just put that right here. So y equals 16 x. And you can check this to make sure that all of the points that you see on the line actually work. So if we look at, let's see, this point, for example, hold on. 
right? If we look at this point, for example, this point is 12, 192, right? Again, follow it down to get the X, follow it over to get the Y. So if we try that, does 192 actually equal 16 times 12? Yes. So that's the way that you can find the equation and then use any point on the line to check it. That's it. See? Easy peasy.